greatest NFL trades that almost happened. Number nine, Joe Burrow to the Colts for their entire team. I'm not joking. The Colts offered four first round picks, four second round picks, Quentin Nelson and Shaq Leonard. This is practically their entire franchise. I'm not saying the Bengals should have accepted this trade, but man, what an offer. But it was declined by the Bengals. Even though it would fix their offensive line problems and make their defense even scarier, you simply can't trade Joe Burrow. After Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow is the most untradeable player in the league. He turned the Bengals from a losing franchise into a Super Bowl contender. The Bengals won from this trade not happening, but honestly, the Colts also won by this trade not happening. Number eight, the Seahawks offered Russell Wilson for the entire Chicago Bears. This is 2021 when Russell Wilson is still on the Seahawks and is still a top quarterback in the league. So the Chicago Bears made an offer, a crazy offer. The Bears offered Khalil Mack and three first round picks for Russell Wilson. But the Seahawks got greedy. They said, no, we want more. So the Bears said, fine. We will add Kyle Fuller and Akeem Hicks, two of their best defenders. This would have been the biggest trade of the year. So what did they do? They declined it again. This is one of the biggest mistakes in Seahawks history. They missed out on three great defenders and so many draft picks. If they accepted this trade, they would have the same offense they have now with Geno Smith and DK Metcalf, which is a great offense, but they would also have the best defense in the league and they missed their opportunity. The the Bears dodged a bullet. If they got Russell Wilson, they would have given up on Justin Fields. With this trade not happening, the Seahawks are huge losers and the Bears are huge winners. Number seven, the Oakland Raiders offer Randy Moss for Aaron Rodgers. This happened in 2007 when Aaron Rodgers was about to take over for Brett Favre and begin his Hall of Fame career. The Raiders saw that potential and that's why they offered the best receiver in NFL history. The Packers were willing to give up Aaron Rodgers and their draft pick. They wanted to do this trade and get Randy Moss. They were so close to agreeing on the deal. Just one last detail. The Packers just wanted a draft pick in return. A fourth round pick next to Randy Moss. Nothing crazy. But the Raiders got greedy. They got stingy. They said, you know what? No, we don't want to give up our fourth round pick. You can keep Aaron Rodgers. So the Packers said, fine, we're not trading Rodgers, and the Raiders lost out on one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. The Packers won, and the Raiders absolutely lost. Number six, the Denver Broncos offered Russell Wilson for Aaron Rodgers. Right after the Broncos got Russell Wilson, they tried to trade him. I think what happened is the Broncos saw in practice that Russell Wilson wasn't a superstar anymore. But the rest of the NFL didn't know that yet. So they tried to steal Aaron Rodgers away from the Packers. And Aaron Rodgers was at the end of his contract. Rumors were he wanted to go to a different team. So this was the perfect trade for the Packers to make. So the Broncos had a chance at the classic quarterback swap. But what did the Broncos do? One word, can you guess? I think you might have it in your mind. They were greedy. Because not only did they want Aaron Rodgers, they wanted draft picks. They thought to themselves, the Packers don't know Russell Wilson's not a superstar anymore. We could get more than Aaron Rodgers. Let's take everything from Green Bay. And as soon as they asked for draft picks, the deal fell apart. 
The Broncos lost this trade badly. They were so close to a franchise quarterback, but they got greedy. For the Packers, this was neutral. They didn't win because Aaron Rodgers is leaving anyways, but they didn't lose because Russell Wilson isn't a great quarterback anymore. Number five, the Minnesota Vikings offered Stefan Diggs to the New York Jets for Sam Darnold and a second round pick. Diggs was still on the Vikings, and the Vikings were looking to trade him. Before they talked to the Bills, they talked to the Jets. And it was so close to happening. Even Diggs himself said, I go there, or it was like the Jets or somewhere like that. So what happened? The Jets offered their fifth, sixth, and seventh round picks of the 2020 NFL Draft. In the fourth round pick in the 2021 draft. And here's the craziest part. The Vikings accepted the trade. Both teams were happy and ready to make the trade official. But dun dun dun, there's a plot twist. Stefan Diggs said, I don't like the Jets. I don't want to go there. Huh? Now the Vikings didn't have to listen to Diggs. They could have said, we don't care, go to New York. But before doing that, the Vikings tried something else. They offered the same exact trade to the Buffalo Bills. The same exact picks, everything's the same. And the Bills accepted the trade. A tragedy for the Jets because they literally had the deal done. But Stefan did them dirty and said, nah, I don't like you guys. This trade not happening was awful for the Jets as they missed out on an incredible wide receiver. And it was neutral for the Vikings because they got the same picks from the Bills. So for them, it was the same trade. Number four. The 49ers offer Jimmy Garoppolo to the Washington Commanders. The Commanders were desperate for a quarterback, like they always are. They had literally nobody at quarterback, and they decided that they were going to trade for one. So they go for Jimmy G, who just had a great year for the 49ers. So the 49ers and Commanders agree on a deal for Jimmy Garoppolo. We have a successful trade, or do we? Right when the deal is about to be official, Jimmy Garoppolo announces that he needs surgery. And because of the surgery, they can't trade an injured player. It's so obvious that Jimmy Garoppolo did not want to be in Washington. Imagine not liking a team so much that you get surgery just to not be on that team. But fast forward a few months, Jimmy Garoppolo has recovered from his surgery and this time he can't hide. He can't get a second shoulder surgery. And the 49ers were ready ready to trade him because they had Trey Lance coming up as their new franchise quarterback. The 49ers and the Commanders once again are ready to make a deal. But at the last second, Washington does one of the dumbest things I've ever heard of. They said, never mind. We don't want Garoppolo. We found a better quarterback for us. Who was that better quarterback? Carson Wentz. Oh man, one of the biggest mistakes of 2021. The 49ers won by this trade not happening because Trey Lance got injured and they needed Jimmy G to step up, which he did. Washington badly lost this trade as they traded their future for Carson Wentz. I'd like to include a comment from a Washington fan online. Just assume that whatever decision this football team from Washington makes, it will be the wrong one. LOL. Number three, Christian McCaffrey to the Los Angeles Rams for two first round picks, a second round pick, and a third. Could you imagine Christian McCaffrey and Cooper Cup on the same team? They would be the best duo in the NFL. So who declined the trade? Obviously the Panthers, right? Why would they give up the best running back in the league? Nope. The Panthers wanted to trade McCaffrey, but the Panthers got...
They got greedy. Come on, you know what I was going to say. Who did the Panthers want in return? Aaron Donald. The Panthers countered the original trade with Christian McCaffrey for Aaron Donald. But on top of Aaron Donald, they also wanted draft picks. All video long, these teams are an inch away from making the trade happen and they let greed ruin their franchise. Aaron Donald is the best defensive tackle in the league. He is literally the reason the Rams won the Super Bowl that season and the Panthers expected the Rams to just let him go. Are they cuckoo or what? The Panthers lost by this trade not happening and the Rams are neutral because Aaron Donald did slow down a bit this season so they could have used Christian McCaffrey but giving away those draft picks too it would have been too much number two the Tennessee Titans offered Derrick Henry to the Detroit Lions for DeAndre Swift and the 2022 second round pick what DeAndre Swift is an incredible young running back Top 10 in the league. But the Lions have the best offensive line in the NFL, which makes it easy to be a good running back on that team. So if the Lions had the best rushing attack with DeAndre Swift, imagine how good their offense would be with Derrick Henry. With King Henry, they literally would be a Super Bowl contender. I wish this trade was accepted, but it fell apart. The Titans probably declined it, right? Because they wouldn't want to give up Derrick Henry. No! The Lions declined the trade! Why in the world would you do that, Detroit? You were one trade away from being a Super Bowl contender. He's a better running back than DeAndre Swift. And you know what? Let's see who they got with that second round pick. They got Josh Pascal. Have you ever heard of Josh Pascal? Yeah, me neither. Terrible decision, Detroit. Terrible. This trade not happening was good for the Titans and an absolute disaster for the Lions. And number one, the moment you've all been waiting for. The Baltimore Ravens offer Lamar Jackson to the Miami Dolphins for Tua Tylova. You heard me right, but that's not it. The Ravens would also get two first round picks and Cedric Wilson, a decent wide receiver. And those two first round picks make sense because we're talking about the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Now, why would the Ravens trade Lamar Jackson? Because they couldn't agree on a long-term deal. So what did Lamar do? He requested a trade like a boss. Could you imagine Lamar with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle? But the deal falls apart because at the last minute, the Ravens decided they didn't want Tua as their franchise quarterback. But there's one more twist. The Ravens offered Lamar Jackson to the 49ers. The 49ers with Lamar Jackson would be the best team in the NFL. But there was a problem. The 49ers had no first round pick to offer. So the trade fell apart. The Ravens won because I think they're better off keeping Lamar. The Dolphins and the 49ers lost badly because if either of them had Lamar at quarterback, they would be true championship contenders. 